All right, hey guys. I'm gonna be starting off with Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. I absolutely love this primer because it definitely minimizes my pores and I do have oily skin and it's really mattifying. And I do like to focus on my T-zone area because that's where I am mainly oily. And I'm just gonna be putting this all over. I wanna make sure I really get it in there. Now I am going in with LA Girl Pro's Concealer in Dark Cocoa. I'm using this for underneath my eye area to cover up my dark circles and my acne scars and any discoloration that I have. Don't you know? Girl, don't you know you're so beautiful. I want to give all my love to you, girl. Not just a night. Going in with my Damp Beauty Blender, I'm just going to blend all of this out. Girl, don't you know? So beautiful, I wanna give all my love to you, girl. Not just the night, but the rest of your life. I wanna be always here by your side. When you now that I'm finished blending out the concealer, I'm gonna use Black Opal's Deluxe Finishing Powder in the color Deep. I like to use this to set my concealer, and also it really absorbs oil. It's really mattifying. I believe I got this technique from Wayne Gross, so if you really want your makeup to last all day, do this technique because it really works. Now I am going in with NARS All Day Luminous Foundation in the color Bonaire's. I hope I'm saying that correctly, I'm not really sure, but I absolutely love this foundation because even though I am oily, I can still use this because all I have to do is just use a really good mattifying primer. I did hear a lot of oily people like myself say that they just don't like this foundation because it doesn't last all day, but I'm pretty oily and it really lasts me over 10 hours, so I don't know. I love it. Now going in with the flat foundation brush in Cover FX Concealer in the color N Deep. This is absolutely my favorite concealer. It's the right color, the right undertone, so it cancels out my dark circles. I absolutely love it. Now I'm just going to be putting this right underneath my eye area, creating the triangle shape. I like to take it up to like my temple area because it gives an illusion that everything is just lifted. I'm just going to do my other eye. And also my top lip because I have some discoloration there. Just make sure it's not there, my forehead, and also down the bridge of my nose. Now I'm going in with my Damp Beauty Blender and blending this all out. And guys, I do apologize, some footage got lost. I looked up and my camera just stopped filming. But I'm taking my Anastasia Cream Contour Kit in a deep, and I'm just gonna be blending this as my contour, and then I set it with NARS Contour Kit. And I'm using Banana Powder to set my concealer. Now it's time for the eyes and I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Dark Cocoa to conceal up my eyes because I do have this coloration. Then I'm going to go in with my damp beauty blender and blend this all out. I totally forgot to sharpen up my contour using the same Cover FX concealer in the color N Deep. I'm going to use the same brush. I didn't use any extra product. I'm just using the leftover product on the brush and to sharpen up my contour and then going in with a damp beauty blender to blend it all out. Baby, my lover, my lady, all night you make me. Want you, it drives me crazy. I feel like you were made just for me. Now I'm going in with Black Opal's finishing powder just to set the concealer. Now we'll be taking Kat Von D's High Voltage Eye Primer to prime my lids. I like this primer because it's great for brightening up eyeshadows. I just have to use two coats of this because I have oily lips. Now 
Now I'm going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills new shadow and couture palette. I'm going to be placing this a little bit above my crease area and I use the color Morocco. When you're not here, you don't know how much I miss you. The whole time on my mind is how much I'm I'm just going to be adding this to the other side as well. And then I'm going to be going into the same palette and I'm going to be using the color Fudge as my transition shade right in the crease area. Now I am going into the color Bellini and I'm placing that all over my lid. Then I'm just going to blend those colors together just so it doesn't have any harsh lines. Now going back into the fudge color, I'm just going to be using this to smoke it out a little bit, creating like a V shape. I applied my liner and lashes off camera. I'm pretty new at applying lashes because I wear glasses 24-7, I'm really blind. It's just something I have to get used to. Now I'm just touching back up with Bellini. Now I'm going to be using this orange color. I think it's NK Auto Lip Planner. I bought this from my local beauty supply store and I just love the color. Going into my Coastal Sense Hot Pot, I am using the color Volcanic Blast just to add a little bit more color. And I'm going to be using the same color as blush as well. I absolutely love this brick orange color. Now I'm going to be going into my favorite highlighter at the moment. It's Missy Lynn's palette from BH Cosmetics. I absolutely love this highlighter. It just gives me so much glow. And then I realized I forgot to contour my nose. I feel like I always forget this stuff because I wear glasses and it just goes right over it anyway. But I am using NARS. NARS's contour kit. I forget the name but I will leave it in the link down below. After I'm done with that, I am going to use my beauty blender to blend it all out. And then add my highlighter down the bridge of my nose and on my forehead. Going back in with my black opal finishing powder, I'm just going to buff all of this in to create a flawless look. And it takes away any harsh lines too. And I'm using my favorite NYX matte setting spray as well. Now while that dries, I'm going in with my NK lip liner. This time it's a brown shade. I like these lip liners, I just feel like it doesn't glide. It takes a little bit of effort to put them on your eye or your lips. Now I'm going in with Ruby Kisses in the color Crush. I love this orange. Orange is really coming out. It's like the new black, right? <laughs> but I use the brown shade to diffuse the orange a little bit because it is really bright. And I like the two combos together. And it's really matte and it stays on like all day. And it was only $4 at the beauty supply store, so I couldn't resist. I got a few of them. If you would like to see like a swatch or try on, just let me know. And then I'm gonna be spraying NYX Finishing Spray. This time the dewy one. I just wanted a luminous look. And now we are all done looking flawless. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment if you have any questions, and thumbs up this video. Thanks for watching, bye guys. You don't know how much I miss you.